We have now reached the final section of expert mode in Flashprint, the Others section. Starting off, we can make material shrinkage compensation adjustments for all of our axes. These settings are a percentage selection. Selecting a positive figure will enlarge the model on the selected axes, and negative will reduce it. Next, dimensional adjustments. Enabling this can assist with printing errors and is turned off by default. Similar to the material shrinkage compensation, adjusting the external compensation up will increase the size and negative will reduce it. The same with the internal compensation. Z offset is a useful feature to ensure your first layer is perfect. By default, it is set to zero. In this video, the setting shown is what has been tested for the printer in use. If once you've leveled your print surface, you are still getting elephant foot on your print, where the first layers get a lip, or if you're not getting a good quality first layer, Z offset can provide a fix. With this setting of negative 0.2, the original clearance from the leveling between the nozzle and print surface has been reduced further. Z hop allows the printer to move the model away from the nozzle during movements to prevent collision with other parts of the model. Set by default to disabled, other options are always enable, enable when cross outline, or auto match. Auto match will use the Z hop feature when it is required. Below that, we can adjust our Z hop height and the minimum distance of the movement. Pause at layers is another control list we can use. This can be beneficial for changing filaments at certain stages of your print. The same as the other control lists, we can add a control using the plus icon and delete unwanted controls with the trash can icon. Finally, our last setting is sequential printing. Useful for printing duplicates or multiple different models in a single print project, the printer will print an entire model to completion before moving on to the next, rather than doing all models layer by layer at the same time. To use this feature, we need to use the auto layout button in the main viewport to ensure adequate clearance for our models. The margins below are the default settings for this printer and a useful guide for what clearance to use with auto layout. So for this machine, we can see the largest measurement is 59 millimeters. So our clearance would need to be at least this size to ensure there is no collision when printing. The final measurement, gantry height, is the model height we can print without the extruder colliding with the completed models.